Like I said, I'm giving this talk for my boss, Chris Berg. Um, he's the field program director for the Nature Conservancy. I'm the South Florida Marine Conservation Manager for the Nature Conservancy. And this is going to be a really quick overview of the Resilience Action Plan for Florida Squirrel Reef. Um, so the Florida Reef Resilience Program um, is a sort of consortium of reef managers that TNC has managed for um, a long time now, thanks to, to, for fu thanks, uh, to funding through the NOAA's Coral Reef Conservation Program. And it's a cross-jurisdictional and um, uh, cross-management approach. We have a steering committee of reef managers that's supported by a network of NGOs, academics, and stakeholders. Um, and we're sort of, the FRP is most well known for the disturbance response monitoring and the associated bleaching response plan. But we also have um, a number of other products and uh, that's this resilience action plan that I'm presenting today is one of those. So um, the resilience action plan has three main goals and they're aimed at different audiences. So the first is to enable resilience-based management of Florida's coral reef aimed at reef managers. The second is to support public policy that creates the enabling conditions for reef recovery aimed at policymakers. And third is to enable stakeholders to support the reef, the future of the reef and those who depend on it. And that is aimed at reef users. And restoration um, kind of runs through uh, many of those um, different actions. And so it's broken down into um, objectives and then actions. And I'm going to go through in a little more detail goal one and then quickly goal two and three. So um, the, the first objective in goal one is to abate threats. And so we have these sections, things like reduce water quality impacts that then have, um, you know, some of these have 15 different actions. So. <laughs> Dana knows. Um, there's many, many actions, and this was a really collaborative process among the reef managers to identify what needs to be done in Florida to really um, to, to make our reefs more, more sustainable and more resilient. The second objective under goal one is to enhance reef ecosystem condition with disease interventions and restoration. Um, so identifying things like gene banking um, and planning for restoration, which you'll hear about. Uh, in more detail uh, in a minute. The third objective is to conduct research to support threat abatement and restoration. And this is um, sort of the, the previous iteration of this, this uh, resilience action plan was cl called the climate change action plan. And I think the research, that, the research component that was added to this one um, really sort of uh, makes it stand apart from that. And so there's a whole list of these priority uh, research areas. Um, and then goal two is, uh, again, um, geared towards policymakers. So objective one under that is to incorporate the economic values of Florida's coral reef into decision making. So things like um, having FEMA classify reefs as natural infrastructure. Objective two is to educate Florida's le leaders on coral reef related issues. Um, and that includes a list of policy priorities. And objective three is to enhance sustainable funding for coral reef management. Um, and so an example of that would be developing public-private partnerships. And then goal three, um, like I said, is aimed at the stakeholders and the reef users. Objective one is support to support individual reef users in becoming champions for reefs. Um, and so an example with, of that would be to uh, establish and maintain reef education communications campaigns. Um, and objective two is to promote businesses and institutions efforts to protect, restore, and sustainably use our reefs. Um, so an ex example of that could be to showcase reef-friendly businesses across Florida. So there are lots of other plans and efforts out there, um, and the Resil Resilience Action Plan sort of complements those. Um, and some of those include the Stony Coral Tissue Loss Disease Response Strategy, the Coral Disease Intervention Plan, which is under development, the Statewide Reef Restoration Strategy, which I'll talk about next, also under development, uh, the Mission Iconic Reefs Plan, and other specific restoration efforts within Florida. Um, and various management plans. So the sanctuary has a management plan and um, there is now a plan being developed for our mainland reefs uh, for the um, Kristen Jacobs uh, Coral Reef Ecosystem Conservation Area or ECA. 
Um, it's also important to note that the Resilience Ac Action Plan is not a regulatory document and it's not a promise that everything recommended will take place, but what it does is it puts them all in one document to say these are the most important things we can do. So again, helping with funding and prioritizing effort. Um, and then also, it's, it's so this last point, it's a body of work um, suggested by the reef managers to protect and restore Florida's coral reef while supporting the businesses um, and the people that use that use the reef. Um, and with that, if you want more information, you can find the Resilience Action Plan and more information about FRP at our website, or you can email either me or Chris. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs>